Coach Tom Kimbrough was born in Valley Mills, Texas, and attended all 12 grades in Valley Mills, graduating in 1963. He was all-district in football all four years as a middle linebacker. Having the choice of attending almost any Southwest Conference school on a football scholarship, he chose TCU for his college football career. And I can remember as a, uh, when I was five, six, seven years old, I can remember the Valley Mills Eagles had the longest winning streak in the state of Texas. It was, it was the longest in history. Uh, 36 games at the time, and I remember walking up to those games and usually just go across town by myself, walking into the back gate where I didn't have to pay. And I watched the Eagles, and I loved it. Kimbrough graduated from TCU in 1968 and was hired by the Plano Independent School District that same year. He was hired by the legendary coach and athletic director John Clark, and Kimbrough eventually worked his way up to head football coach for the Wildcats by 1976. Coach Kimbrough was promoted to athletic director for the Plano Independent School District in 1992, and to this day, he is still employed by the Plano ISD as an advisor. 2022 will mark 55 years with the Plano Independent School District. Grew up working on a farm and working in an oil field, and I knew a lot of people who really worked hard but I've never met anybody that worked harder than Coach Kimbrough. I mean he, he's the hardest working guy I've ever met. The years from 1976 to 1991 that Tom Kimbrough spent as head coach of Plano will go down in history as one of the greatest tenures in Texas high school football. His record as head coach was an incredible 173, 28 and 5. Plano had won more football games than any school in Texas history when he retired in 1991. Well, I think he set a standard that really was, it was really hard to, you know, match, but we all tried to, and, you know, his win-loss record is unbelievable. I think he lost 17 games in his career as a coach, and, uh, you know, just watching him, uh, it wasn't about the wins, it was about the way he conducted his business and about the culture. Culture there was unbelievable at Plano, and it was all because of him. I guess I've known him 30, 40 years or whatever. I've never heard the man use foul language. I've never heard him ever raise his voice. When I was in superintendent school, late 90s, early 2000s, my very first class at Texas A&M Commerce was a class called the superintendency. And one day on a Saturday, I walked into the classroom. The professor put an article in front of us and it was an old black and white newspaper clipping. And he said, your superintendents to be, this is how you build a championship program for extracurriculars. And the 1977 Plano Senior Wildcat team is the example used in superintendent preparation programs for how to build scholar athletes have strong, ethical, supportive leadership and engage the entire community in doing great things for kids that also build community. And, and so uh, I mailed that to, to Coach Kimbrough after class and said, hey, I just want you to know, like you're the model for how to build extracurricular programs and football programs for superintendents all across the state of Texas. Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine named him one of the top 10 most memorable coaches over the past 50 years, which included Tom Landry and Darrell Royal as first and second, with only three other high school coaches in the top 10. Kimbrough won more games, more playoff games, and more state championships than any coach in the state during his tenure from 1976 to 1991. Coach Kimbrough came down here. I don't want him to walk out of here without you knowing who this guy is. Seven state championships he's been a part of. Has a stadium named after him. He's who taught my dad how to coach. And my dad passed that on to us. And then my second year of coaching, coach gave me a job. But it, everything he did was excellent. His preparation, um, the way he went about business and his guys play with their hearts and soul just like we do. And they went full tilt and did things the right way. And the right way, you know, usually gonna turn out pretty good. Everything we do in coaching, we owe, we owe to this guy. He was recognized by the Texas Sports Writers Association as Texas High School Football Coach of the Year in 1977, 1986, and 1987. He was the National Coach of the Year in 1987, and his team was named number one in the nation. Tom Kimbrough Stadium was built and named in his honor in 2003. He received TCU's Frog of Fame Award in 1988. Texas Monthly recognized Plano as the second-best football program in the history of Texas high school football, stating, quote, Plano was a 
dynasty and a model for football programs everywhere. His state championship game in Class 4A against Port Natchez Groves at Texas Stadium in 1977 set a state attendance record of 49,953. The record lasted for 37 years and is still a state record for single site games some 45 years later. When he won his third state championship in 1987, he also won the first Denius UIL award for developing talent to the highest degree possible. Coach Kimbrough is the only coach in the top classification to win Texas Coach of the Year three times as recognized by the Dave Campbell Fab Knit Award. Coach Kimbrough has been married to Linda Kimbrough, a retired teacher for 54 years. They have two children. Kimberly is a kindergarten teacher in the Plano ISD and his son, Kyle Clark, named after his mentor, is a mortgage underwriter. It's not about the winning, it's about the culture and what you do for kids. And on these plaques, if you wrote down all the things that Coach Kimbrough did for kids, you wouldn't have a plaque big enough. You can, you can get his record on the plaque, but what he's done for, for kids for, and for coaches too, uh, it's, it's, you know, you can't measure that. But you know, as far as the legacy that I'd like to leave with the players, with the coaches, is, is one that, that says that, that success can be measured different ways. We're not all gifted with the same talents. The players aren't. They can't all be quarterbacks. They can't all be running backs. But they can, they can be a big part you know, of our team. But I hope they know that I loved them. Great support from uh, the administration. I had the best uh, superintendents. I'm so fortunate that I chose to be a coach and I'm proud of being called a coach. Uh, and uh, I hope that lasts a few more years.